What's up guys, I'm back with another tutorial and today I'm gonna show you how I made this uh, trippy red Mr. Rage type beat that you just heard in the beginning. Um, before we start, you know, like, subscribe, comment, you know, all that stuff. Um, it would, no, but for real, it would really help me a lot. Um, but yeah, let's not waste any, any time and uh, get straight into it. This is what the sample sounds like by itself. Yeah, pretty dope in my opinion. And I started off with uh, this synth right here. Um, don't worry about the audio clips. Um, this is this right here is just the same as this. I uh, just had to render everything out because my laptop is trash and it would not be able to play that, all that stuff. So yeah, don't worry about that. Um, as I said, this and this is the same. So I started with this synth right here. Um, how am I gonna play that? Like that? Yeah, let's play it like that. Alright, um, this melody is in the scale of B minor. And you can see the chord progression I went for in this uh, sample is uh, G major, D major, A major, uh, and then it goes back into the G major, D major, A major, just like the same part. Everything just repeated. Um, yeah, so over here you can see I made the G major 7th um, chord, so I added another uh, melody, um, another note on top of the on top of the triad. And then it goes over into the D major chord. These chords sound very good uh, together with each other because they have like the same notes right here. So here's a D, here's a D, and here's a F sharp, and there's also an F sharp in the D major chord. So that way they transition better into each other and they sound like the overall sound is just better when you have like some similar notes um, in following chords. Then over here, I made the A major chord but I took out the middle note because I thought <laughs> it sounded pretty cool um, yeah that's just something I did uh, with like experimenting and stuff so uh, yeah that's basically how I did that and then over here this is just uh, like a little transition part so it loops better into the repetition right here so initially what I did was um, if I delete all that I just copied the chord from here over and then what I did was I made this little like stutter part you know like that and then I moved some I moved some notes uh, so it like has a nice melody make this like, let's do this undo this all stuff um, yeah, and then underneath uh, is just the bass notes, really. So, like these notes right here. Um, yeah, these notes right here. Uh, just duplicated them, pitched them down an octave. That and that way you can you get those notes right here, and then duplicate them again, pitch them down, uh, and you get like another bass layer. Yeah, that's basically it for the for the chords and the melody. Um, and then all I did was I just copied everything over into like uh, this part. So that's just exact exactly the same. Right, the preset uh, that I used was um, let's see. So it's the Fago chord from the uh, Wanderer Serum Bank from uh, Synthetic and. Dices. Yeah, so that's the that layer, and then I layered these chords with uh, another synth right here. So you can see these are the exact same chords. So the sound I used for this synth is uh, from my one shot kit. Um, I dropped this one shot kit like yesterday. It comes with more than 80 uh, sounds. 
for your rage beats and your virtual type beats you know all that stuff so it has um, a lot of bells uh, some fire mallets right here very dope and then a lot of plugs uh, and also a lot of synths um, and it comes also with 10 bonus loops that I made yeah pretty dope um, so if you want that you can get that with the first link in the description um, if you want the exact same sounds that I use um, yeah you can go and check that out um, as I said really dope for your for your virtual and like rage beats and all that stuff uh, has more than 80 sounds um, yeah I can definitely recommend it <laughs> so uh, this is the sound right here that I used for this loop or this beat yeah just uh, just another layer to make it sound uh, a bit bigger uh, exact same chords and then we can go over to this layer right here there's this pattern over here uh, again I had to like export it again the exact same chords just layered um, with like a key preset I guess um, let's let's just check which preset I used so it's the field synth from the adapt serum bank very nice very dreamy as well so that's uh, like the sound I went for yeah and then we can go over here to the first like little counter melody yeah this is just a simple counter melody to fill in like the spots that, that are not filled in by the by the chords right here so you can see there's a there's an empty spot right here and right here and I filled these empty spots with uh, this little counter melody right here this uh, sound is again from my one shot kit um, over here so if you want that sound you know where to get it um, fire one shot kit uh, link in the description. Right uh, then, I added this like main lead melody. Yeah, it's a pretty distorted lead, um, but that's what you want with these rage type beats. So let's check um, which preset I used for this lead. The preset that I used is the Mr. Rager lead again from the Wanderer uh, serum bank and then lastly I added this bass um, which is like literally just following the bass notes from the chords yeah nothing special so right here you can see um, the mixer for the melody um, I used the same exact mixer presets for all the synths um, it's just an imager to make it a bit wider then a bit of reverb like just a tiny little bit and then reverb to EQ um, <laughs> reverb uh, I mean a little EQ to just to cut out the lows and I got uh, that same exact like chain on every synth right here right here and um, on the leads as well <laughs> to be honest so it's like the same on every single mixer channel um, yeah so nothing really special on that so this is what everything sounds like together yeah I, I already showed you um, but yeah that's the whole sample and the whole loop and now we can get uh, into the drums this right here is the project for the drums I just exported the, the sample and uh, put it into a new project for the drums there's nothing really happening over here nothing really special happening over here um, 
these are like some basic trap drums to be honest so I started with this uh, clap right here added a little counter snare gives it a bit more rhythm, hi-hat basic two-step pattern open hat and then the 808 um, is a pretty distorted and heavy 808 I like that um, I, uh, I really do like using those type of uh, 808s for these kind of beats uh, so that fits very well with that like synth and um, pretty distorted vibe and then a kick on top of that For the 808, just follow your uh, follow, follow the bass notes to make sure the your 808 is in tune, and then uh, nothing can go wrong really. So you see, there's nothing really special for the drums, um, and that's also basically it for the whole beat. That's it for the tutorial. Um, if you want like all the sounds that I use for my loops, you can uh, go and get the, my one shot kit. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate all the support. You know, uh, if you have any questions or anything, uh, let me know down down below in the comments. Um, yeah.